hello everyone welcome to the channel id simplified in today's video in azure i will show you what are the options available for us in case we want to delete the operating system disk within a vm running on azure portal so if i expand my vm1 and go under disk i have an os disk with the capacity of uh, 30 gig in this and it's the standard hdd so regular magnetic hard drive now, uh, in the last previous video, I showed you how you can delete a um, uh, data disk attached to the VM. But in this case, if I go to the edit, you will see I don't see any uh, detach uh, option available. And I will say this is one of the shortcomings uh, within, within Azure is that uh, uh, that functionality is not uh, there. So in case there is a need to get rid of this, there will be uh, the only option I will say is to uh, delete the VM. So uh, let me just go inside. So make sure that your VM is in a stop state. So I have done that. So I'm going to do is go and pick my VM1 and delete. And the only reason I want to share this is that, uh, as you know, the uh, the charges on Azure are pay as you go, it depends upon the resources you're consuming. So if your VM is still stopped, you still have the storage with that, uh, you'll be you'll be charged. So at the end of the month, you'll get a bill for that. And sometimes the bill can be a little bit on a higher side if you have used uh, resources on a premium side. So specifically for this, if you're using the premium disk, it can be on a higher side. So I have successfully deleted the virtual machine. Now I want to make sure I want to go to the resource group and expand this. You see that that VM is uh, or operating system disk is still there. So it means that even if I have deleted the VM at the end of the month, I will still get the charge. So what I'm going to do is to avoid this, I will pick my OS disk and delete. Click on yes. And hopefully I should be able to delete this uh, uh, OS. So it, it was successful. The delete command worked for us and uh, we have removed that from our, our resource group. So with this give you an idea about how you can get rid of uh, uh, operating system disk on a VM. Unfortunately, right now, the only way is to delete the VM and then go inside the resource group and get rid of that uh, OS disk. But I hope you will find this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.